Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a very small mini experiment, which is only one experiment today. It's not like other mini experiments, which are just mini experiments, which are just two. This mini experiment will only contain one experiment, and it's related to brown dwarfs, tidal heating of habitable planets. So the first thing we're going to be doing in the mini experiment is going into the objects and selecting a random star. So that's not it. HR532 is not a brown dwarf. So I, to make it one, let's set this thing to go below, just slightly below the amount because we don't, we want to see the habitable zone. So it won't be necessarily like a, a considered brown dwarf, but we're going to set this to brown. So right now we are in brown dwarf temperatures right now. So we're going to set this to brown dwarf temperatures and luminosity. And if you check right here, you can see it's the habitable zone. You don't need to name your brown dwarf. So you got the brown dwarf. Let me name it brown. Just I'm just going to name it brown. So here is our brown dwarf. So now I'm going to try to make a habitable planet. You see the habitable zone on there? I'm going to try to put a habitable planet within the within our brown dwarf named brown. So I put a random habitable planet. This It's right in the habitable zone. So now I'm going to try to make this habitable. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make Earth orbit this. Because Earth is already habitable. Can Earth be like round dwarf? And this isn't in the habitable zone. To make it in the habitable zone, we're going to set this to orbital period to like until it reaches the habitable zone of the brown dwarf. So I'm going to set this even further out. So you can, as you can notice, Earth is actually is getting closer and closer to the brown dwarf. You can see it's in the habitable zone, and because of brown dwarfs being one of the most in type of less luminosity, super dim, failed stars, its orbital period is four days, and it's in the habitable zone. So in all, if it was orbiting our sun, it'll be 365 days, and it'll be in the habitable zone. Before our brown dwarf, it only takes four days. Also, you can notice the lighting in the Earth because of brown dwarfs being glowing red you can see the earth is glowing red a lot you can see how much how red it is so let me set at the equilibrium temperature to make it so that it's orbiting the habitable zone of the brown dwarf so in order to do that we're going to be making ourselves making it a bit more habitable by using more t tidal heating for the brown dwarf since we're in the habitable zone and we'll set the albedo to be a little bit lower so uh, now let's set the atmosphere layers to about Five for now, and then set the average albedo until it reaches about about 18 degrees, or almost at Earth's temperature. So let's set this to about almost the Earth's temperature. And so, as, and as you can see, I'm going to speed things up and see if it works. And you can see that the Earth is at 18.5 degrees Celsius. Now it's 18.4. And it's currently orbiting a brown dwarf that takes only five days. It is cooling down. So it won't last that long. It'll probably cool down a little bit. But for now, you can see Earth is habitable. And the ESI, let's check the ESI. It is still relatively similar. However, the life likelihood went down a little bit as the temperatures are still decreasing. But it may be because we are in a brown dwarf star system and it's less light. Meaning plants will have to conserve more energy by becoming darker. So they can conserve more energy they get from the sunlight. Since you don't get that much sunlight, you obviously don't get any sunlight from brown dwarfs. Not as much as G-type stars. And this brown dwarf is obviously just a brown dwarf. It's not like it's a regular star. It's om it's almost a failed star. So anyways, thank you for watching my mini experiment series. If you like my video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye everyone. See you later and subscribe for more.